What materials should I use? the hell Oh, fuck. I totally forgot all about that. Where the hell's the other one, though? There's no more fucking rumors? Okay, whatever. Man, I just wasted like fucking 10,000 gold. Okay.
all the creatures I need to destroy should be up here, I think. It's the only thing with a fucking quest symbol on it. Oh, they're so weak. Why are they even here? Overkill. That counted? I'm actually supposed to be killing these things. So if I kill like a hundred bajillion of them, I'll just wind up with a fuckload of gold then? Big wig for us. Um, no. Oh my god, if I kill a bajillion of those, I'm gonna be rich. <coughs> oh, I need to kill these too. Oh, these are the ones that are going to give me some fucking trouble. Level 19. <laughs> Bring it on, you dilf. This was really easy. I actually got a bunch of fucking experience for doing that. Weird. I wasn't expecting that. That seemed a little too easy. What are you doing? I thought the game glitched. Like, these things are level 20 now? That was a weird jump. Why the fuck did they just go up and... Stature all of a sudden? Cross the fly, poor bat. Hey man, how you doing? How's your morning so far? Oh god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Hey, it's alright. Had to get up super early. That sucks. House on fire or what?
<clears throat> oh no. Ah, uh, this is gonna be really close. Oh, sick. <laughs> that... I'm now. Oh. Being supposed to God must Some kind of gnarly fucking bullshit going on right now. Yeah, live through that. Oh, what the hell? It actually lived through that? No, just a doctor appointment. Weather's saying high UV. High UV. Is that abnormal? I don't remember ever paying attention to the UV. Unfortunately, that thing almost killed me, so I have to leave. I do it! I do it! I do it! You were just like sneeze in old English? Or am I the only one? I have no idea. First time I've seen that. Yeah, I don't remember ever hearing about that either. Have your coffee yet? Yeah, dude. I make coffee every morning. Just you, dude. Ha ha ha, what the fuck? What'd I do? Is everyone it was like that when I got here. It's my first day. What's our destination? Oh. What's our destination? A cheweth? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta, you know, spice up sneezing. Nobody wants to hear a regular sneeze anymore. I gotta blow my nose anyway. One moment. <laughs> so what are your plans for today? Wear sunscreen?
Hey, run, cat. The dumpster's after you. My fleshlight ran away with the spoon. Oh. Nada. You're welcome. This is Dilf. Day off, so maybe finishing up Elden Ring. That and not getting cancer. All the cool kids get cancer. How are you enjoying Elden Ring? Seemed like last month literally everybody was streaming that at the exact same time. It looked amusing, but I've never played a Souls game before. I don't think I'm going to... Yeah. My brain's retarded, so I'd have to, like, do it all in order, you know? Just so that I could see the progression. Because you inquired last night when I was going to play it or whatever. Good morning. Good morning. She's planning something. <clears throat> what weapon do you want to make? Oh, what the hell? There's new weapons? No shit. Fuck, that's awesome. I need to make some money. Not getting cancer. I have never heard anybody say that before. Everywhere I go, people are wearing fucking ribbons and shit. Like, I support breast cancer. Like, just completely evil shit like that. I don't understand it. Well, thank, thank you, you for, for coming, coming sir. Which request will you accept? accept? It's great, until it's not. Dark Souls would be a good place to start. It's a solid game, and I play it at least once a year. Is that good? Go back to it? Yeah, if I was going to start, I'd start on Dark Souls 1. I'm guessing that's the first one. Rainbow Pony Fluid. Flugel? What the hell's a Flugel? More Flugel. Fair height. Flugel. Come back. Apparently need I... What the fuck? Where the hell? What's a flugel, man? Come on. This game's rigged. What is flugel? Try each iteration. The developers try to make the games more difficult, so there's some laughable bullshit in Elden Ring. I believe that. Forgetful stream. Crack horrors to the left of me. Crack horrors to the right of me. I'm just looking for items. Potatoes. Oh. Okay. Potato. 
What is taters? What the hell is the point of this? Now what the hell is going on? AKA my stream. Have you been streaming Elden Ring the whole time? I don't remember seeing your name pop up for a while. Oh, there's a fucking thing. Don't let your guard down. We'll get through this. Don't let my guard down. No, I'm not going to. How come? Did you just, like, get sick of streaming randomly? Because I remember you are streaming quite often. At first. So many people I know, like, they were so excited to stream, and then they just got fucking sick of it or something. I'm wondering if you're in that category, too. You fergalicious dilf. Uh -huh. I was busy with working with Dead Tired. Busy season is over now, though. Busy season is over. Are you a stripper? That was extremely delayed. Just like my child. Loop, swoop, and pull. Pop, lock, and drop it. Done already? Done already? That was etc. Oh, it just... Come here, you stupid-looking fucking parakeet. It's a parakeet from hell. Maybe if I was 20, but those days are long gone. Yeah. Fuck. I miss being young. As soon as you hit 30, life gets so shitty. I mean, life's kind of the same, but, I mean, you start to feel really crappy no matter what you do. Or at least, yeah. A lot of people I know are like that. Like, I don't know what it is. As soon as I hit 30, everything just stopped working the way it's supposed to. Like, everything just, like, starts to hurt. Wah, wah, wah. I can't imagine being fucking 40. Or 50, or 60, or 70, or 80. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> I said the same thing last night. Yeah, it's fucking weird, right? I felt fucking fantastic all through my 20s. And all I did was eat garbage food, get no exercise. I smoked two packs a day. God, I miss smoking. Don't let your guard down. 
I won't let my god down. I guess I never thought I'd live this long, so now I'm confused. Like, what now? I have to do this for another 30 years? 30 years? Try 50. I know, right? Yeah, youth is wasted on the youth. Where to? Yonder. Let's see how much money I made fucking slaying those birds over and over and over. Hopefully it pays off. I need to fucking upgrade my weapons. <clears throat> map is pretty cool yeah you unlock it really slowly is this a ps4 game yeah like very early ps4 game i bought a couple of the atelier games on the playstation 3 and melissa my girlfriend she got really addicted to atelier maruru so i was like oh fuck she loves the atelier series and like literally every year they put out a new game so, like, I've got eight fucking games just sitting on my shelf. Like, sealed. This is the only one. She popped this in for, like, an hour and was like, eh, I don't like it. But me being retarded, I just kept buying them and buying them, expecting her to eventually play them, but, yeah. So now I'm, like, drowning in Atelier games. I'm like, ah, fuck, I should probably beat one. I've spent enough money on it, you know? Oops. Date ticket. What the hell is that? Uh, good enough, I guess. Um, Tess, what exactly is this? Ah, so that caught your eye. I'd expect no less from you, Sophie. Huh? But well, what is it? It's a legendary item that countless men have begged and cried to obtain. It's called a date ticket. A uh, date ticket? Yep. Basically, if you have that, you can go on a date with me. That was a really brief explanation, but why do you have this? You know how I'm super popular with men, right? Tess, thank you for today. I'll be going home now. Bye-bye. Hey, wait, I'm just playing around. Well, it was half true, but still. So you'll tell me about this seriously, then? Ooh, your eyes are really cold right now. Well, you see. Lately, a lot of customers come to this shop just for me. Some of them will sit here forever, sipping one cup of tea. That's not good for business. It's reducing the number of customers we can serve. That's why I came up with this date ticket as bait, so they'd at least help do some of their requests. Huh, I see. So I guess you actually put some thought behind it for once. Sophie, you're being really harsh today. But are there really people who would go for bait like that? Hey, you. How many vouchers do you have now? Ha. Who'd show their hand to their enemy? Do you think I'm some sort of idiot? Right. We're enemies now, but just you watch. I'll be the one who wins. So there were some. Heh heh heh. Never underestimate Tessa's devilish charm. Anyway, I'm willing to go on a date with anyone who has the date ticket. That includes you, Sophie. 
Wait, me? Yeah, of course. That's the rule. Um, I think I'll pass. You are gay. You just straight up said that. Just wait a minute. It could be really fun, you know? Well, I guess I'll think about it. Alright, good. I'll welcome you anytime, okay? Ha ha ha, bagel sandwich, yes. Get those bagels. Got the bagels. I'm LOL right now. What is this dialogue? Do you play many fucking JRPGs, dude? Hey, Cassius, how you doing this morning? They are playing retro. Well, which request are you looking Sweet. Soup dog, not too bad. I haven't played anything in a minute, lol. Damn, dude. I don't think I've ever seen you this early. You shit the bed? Thank you. Hmm. I wish I could shit the bed. There's new items available. Or weapons. Hopefully I can afford some of them. This game's kind of dewy with how much it gives you. Um, what weapon do you want to make? Tell me which materials to use. I'm an early riser, usually five to six ish. What the fuck? Why so early, dude? That's crazy. I usually have shit going on this time of day. That's too early, man. Where the hell did I get Golt Eisen? Oh, every fucking weapon's gonna need a Golt Eisen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. Sealed temple, lady. On the double. Might as well. Those look like the rainbow fox that I need to farm, I think. I need rainbow puny fluid, and those look like rainbows, and they're punies. Oh, 
<clears throat> so what are you doing today, Cassius? Holy shit, I finally got one. Rainbow Shining Liquid can be reported. Mystery Recipes Velvetus can be synthesized. Hey! Don't let your guard down. We'll get through this. Okay, there's one for the quest. There's also one or two for crafting that I need to get. <clears throat> I need to chill out. Been over here refreshing my email all morning to see if I got an Overwatch 2 beta key. Holy fuck. Refreshing my email, lol. Don't have any plans, ass to mouth. How long have you been playing Overwatch for? That attitude. I'll go. Here's What is Gilf? I was in closed beta, so since before it came out, I've got like three thousand hours in it. Holy shit. Dude, that's a lot of fucking hours. What about it drew you into it so hard? Fuck. Three thousand hours. I think the most I ever did was I spent an entire year on Final Fantasy XIV online. I got all thirty character classes like maxed out to level fucking eighty. Seriously, it took a year of my life. I was gaming like ten hours a day, probably, because I had to do ten years worth of fucking shit in a year. That was so much fun. God, I love that game. I just sit there chain smoking from fucking morning till night, just playing the ever living fuck out of that game. It's so much fun. Why is this thing so fucking strong? Weird. First person shooter with hard RPG elements. Teams are 2-2-2. Two, two, two. two tanks, two DPs, two supports. Doesn't boil down to individuals. You're forced to function as a team. Okay. Oh shit, did I get it? So you're a big fan of, um... Teamwork and shit like that, then. Just one? Okay. Hey. Okay. Yeah, sometimes when I had to rely on other people... For uh, Final Fantasy XIV Online, it would just make me want to punch an infant. It was so infuriating. You never know if you're going to get teamed up with a fucking eight-year-old. 
or if whoever the hell you're playing with, like, say your healer just, like, randomly logs off in the middle of a dungeon. There's so much stupid shit would happen. I mean, most of the time, it was perfectly fine, though. Most of the time, it was ridiculous fun. The actual hell, where the fuck? Man, this item does not drop. Yes, sir. I've always been into co-op games. Interesting. Yeah, I guess so. I thought you were just doing all those hard games on two-player because... I don't know. Challenge? Plus, I mean, who the fuck does that, right? So did that company, like, tell you that you're going to get to play the beta of Overwatch 2? Or are you just, like, hoping that you can? Did you have to sign up to a list? I don't know anything about that world. Well, yup, I'm in Masters in Overwatch, so I only get players on my skill level. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Masters, Grand Masters. The skill system they have is pretty decent. Hello, yeah, it's both. Damn, dude. That's intense. That's a good feeling, though. Being that involved in a community. Being that into, like, one game. Is everyone uninjured? Fuck, it still didn't drop? Okay, hey. Don't let your guard down. We'll get through this. This is insane, man. Wide open. This is a chance. Had to sign up. This is closed beta. Sadly now, they only want people with a large social media presence to show the game off. Oh. You'd think they'd just give it to everybody who's like a master or a grandmaster. Or are they trying to get exposure by like giving it to large Twitch streamers? Like, hey, you have 10,000 fucking viewers, play this. Fuck. Why is this such a rare drop? Holy ball sack, dude. You fuck. years, eh? Overwatch League, the pros got it first. Now bigger streamers. It's kind of how all big launches are going these days. Overwatch League. Full of 
Do people, like, play this shit professionally and, like, make money in tournaments and stuff? Ow. God damn it. They're not even spawning anymore. I've killed so many of them. What the fuck, game? Lame. Oh yeah, it's on ESPN even. Holy fuck. Okay. That's intense. Have you ever played in a tournament? Or you just like play for fun or... Hell, nothing's respawning. Oh, there we go. Oh, God damn it. I gotta heat up my coffee. One moment.
Now the moment of truth. Did I get another rainbow thing? Just player hosted ones. I play in competitive, which can lead to OWL. Sadly, I'm really good, but it doesn't compare to the insanity of the guys in contenders and OWL. Pretty cool, the game basically has a built-in draft system. You stay in Grand Masters long enough, they'll contact you and assess you, possibly offer you a spot in Contender League, which leads to Overwatch League and that money. Fuck, that'd be so cool, eh? Ah. Making money playing video games? People are so f fucking lucky. That sounds like such a cool fucking career. Career. My buddy got offered a spot in Contenders, but the U.S. Army said he was going to the Middle East instead. Oof. Oh, dear lord. Yeah, that would fucking suck for sure. What a bummer. Man, if I didn't already have one of these fucking rainbow fluid things, I wouldn't even know they exist. This is ridiculous. He's back now, missed his chance too, feels bad. Yeah, I bet. Fuck, that sucks. That's a missed opportunity. Probably would have made a lot more playing fucking video games. Which is insane when you think about it. Yeah. Oh my god, that took a while. I can finally get the hell out of here. Wrong area. Oh, everything just comes right back if you leave the area. I feel dumb. He still makes money playing. He boosts accounts for money. Basically, he'll get in your account and get to whatever rank you're wanting to play in. Really? People do that? That's crazy. I don't understand people who don't have dignity like that. Like, why wouldn't you just climb your way through the ranks yourself? Wouldn't that make you feel good? You know? Yeah. 
should I use? Which is pretty dumb on the people paying him part. They are now playing at a level they have no chance in, losing the game for their team, but whatevs. Yeah, that too. It's fucking stupid. Oh yeah, kind of sad, LOL. I guess if you can't and you want to experience high-level gameplay, I don't know. It just sounds stupid. Okay. It's like people who cheat on something and then they pat themselves on the back for winning. It's just so delusional. Fuck it, I'm saving. Just in case. Just in case something stupid happens. Only people they cheating is themselves. Yeah, exactly. I've seen where some big streamers have gotten busted aimbotting recently. Another thing, why would you do that? To get really big on Twitch or YouTube is just like a fucking blessing, man. That would be so fucking cool. And then to turn out you're just a fucking cheater? It's like, why would you... Why would you intentionally fuck yourself over like that? This isn't where I'm supposed to be? Really? Oh, there he is. Have you finished the item I requested? I see, you made a large amount. Thank you. No problem. Did you find anything about this place? Yes, it seems this was a base for traveling to another world. Another world? The entrance will appear if you fulfill certain conditions. It seems to be related to time. However, I couldn't decipher the details. I seem to be missing some information. I see. It seems there are still many mysteries waiting to be found in this world. Anyway, I should be leaving soon. Wait, you're already going to leave? Yes, I still don't know the secrets of this arm, and there could be people like me somewhere. 
I want to help those people. I see. Take care, Nazareth. Just let me know if anything happens. I'll lend you my strength anytime. Thank you. Farewell. Sophie, thank you. I really mean it. I was able to fulfill one of my goals. No need for thanks. I'm just glad I could help. Um, are you going to set off on your next journey too? Well, I intend to leave after some time, but not anytime soon. I still have many things to investigate around this area. That means we'll be working together for a while longer. Yeah. <laughs> I have the slightest clue what the piss I'm supposed to be doing right now. Like, I thought I fought a giant fucking dragon down here. So I was looking for, like... It drops a specific item that, as far as I know, you can only get from that fucking dragon. But it was like a boss fight. I was, like, wondering if it would reappear, but apparently it doesn't. But I need several of them in order to, um... Craft a bunch of shit. It's baffling. Now then, let us begin. grind for a little while. I guess. Now then, let us begin. Oh shit, two of them? And that Gaten Eisen ore or whatever the fuck. I don't know how the hell to get that. I need more of that really bad. You need one to craft every new weapon for every character. That should help a little bit. Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> okay, hey! This should be an easy fight. Aimbotting. Hope this hits. You're full of openings. Is that a robot that like aims your gun for you? In effect. Here's a bonus. 
Imagine being happy because that actually, like, took somebody down. You feel really good about yourself. It's so weird. Holy shit, I got one on my first try. Wow. Last time I was down here, I had to kill like seven of them before I got one. Sophie's almost dead. Holy shit, I got another one right away. How is this happening? Okay, I'm gonna grab one more and then I'm gonna take off. Back to town I go. there might actually be like three back to back. How cool would that have been? Yeah, if I leave and just come back, right? Ta-da! On final fluid thing. The reason that I want another one is because there's that fucking recipe I just unlocked that needs three of them. Which is insanity. Buzz off. Where can we go next? You're not my real dad. It's so hot already. Really? Fuck. Makes me want to show you how fucking nice out it is right now. It's like gray skies, a little drizzling. All the mountains are just covered in fog right now. It looks cool. I drenched just standing outside with my dog. Oh, that's rough. What got you into this? Seems out of your wheelhouse. Um, well, I've always loved RPGs. But, um, on the PlayStation 3, I bought a game called Atelier Maruru. And my girlfriend Melissa fucking played it and she loved it. So every time a new fucking Atelier game comes out on the PlayStation 4, I've, I, I've been buying them. And this was the first one to come out on the PS4. 
And she played it for a few hours and was like, eh, it's cool. I'll come back to it. But then I bought the second game and the third and the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and she hasn't touched any of them. So I'm like, I should probably fucking start this up, you know? I spent enough money on the franchise. Might as well fucking get some of my money's worth out of it. It's not a bad game. It's not a great game. Now I'm at the point where I'm just trying to plow through it. And I do it in the mornings because most people don't fucking watch in the morning. What materials to use? Seriously, most mornings I'm just like sitting here fucking talking to myself and playing this by myself. I'm like, who the hell is going to want to watch this shit, you know? This isn't bad. Yeah, good. Yeah, this looks good. Is this good? Seems okay. Graphics are cute. Yeah, that's that's the oh, thing. It's like it now. okay. Like it's good, yeah. but it's not Amazing. Then it's not horrible. Is this okay? Is this okay? It's Oops. finished. God damn it. Ah, oh, whatever. What materials should I use? Oh, I need another gold steel web. Fuck, man. Okay. Gold steel web it is. Yeah, I mean, it's all cutesy and shit. Most JRPGs usually are. Cutesy and lighthearted. Until shit gets fucking bananas. I don't feel like this game is going to go fucking bananas, though. And when you're in these town segments, there's certain main characters that you talk to, and then little cutscenes come out, and you gain new, like, skills and other shit. So that's why every, like, most of the time when I come back to town, I just follow the same goddamn path, talking to all the main guys, to see if anything unlocks. Fritz, I brought the material you requested. Oh, thanks for that. With this, I should be able to create a magnificent doll. Hehehe, <laughs> that's good. Sophie, thank you again. This brings me one step closer to my dream. To put on the greatest puppet show, right? Yeah, once this doll is complete, I plan to use it in my grand puppet show. Wow, that's great. But is it really okay for me to have made a material for something so amazing? What are you talking about? That's exactly why I asked you to make it. Not only are you a brilliant alchemist, but you also have a love for dolls. That's why I left it to you. Fritz. You really are a capable alchemist. Far greater than you seem to think. You should have more confidence in yourself. Thank you. Anyway, I wanted to start work on my doll using this material now. You'll be the first person I show when it's complete. Look forward to it. Yes, I'll be waiting. It, eh? <laughs> Do 
Do you play any RPGs? Anybody? Out there? Can anybody hear me? Oscar, are you thinking about something? Oh, hey, Sophie. What's wrong? Are you concerned about something? A little. Do you know about a plant called the Eternal Blossom? Eternal Blossom? Hmm, I've never heard of it. Plocta, do you know anything about it? That's a nostalgic name, although I haven't seen any recently. I see. I guess nobody sees them around here anymore. What kind of flower is it? It's a plant that grows in densely vegetated areas, but it has an unusual characteristic. If it's exposed to direct sunlight for even a moment, it won't ever be able to bloom again. Huh, that's a strange flower. Until several decades ago, it was fairly common to see in this area, but... Could that mean the expansion of the town destroyed all the places where the Eternal Blossom could grow? That possibility is undeniable. I see. That's a little unfortunate. Stop that, Sophie. You're acting like the Eternal Blossom's gone extinct. Huh? The vitality of plants is way stronger than people seem to imagine. I'm sure it's surviving somewhere. You think so? I believe in that. Sophie, if you find any information about it, let me know. Okay, I got it. I tried. What do you... I'll see you again. Will ya? Where the hell's Cory? She's supposed to be standing right here. Oh. Hello. Oh, Sophie, you came at a nice time. Huh? Do you need something? Actually, yes. There's something I want you to make. What is it? A bomb. I see. A bomb. Wait, what? Uh, a bomb? Yep, a bomb. Um, what do you need it for? D don't tell me you're... <laughs> what are you imagining? I just want to blow up a big rock in my yard. Oh, I see. That was surprising. Seriously, what were you imagining I'd do? Um... I thought you might go and blow up a competing shop. Ha ha ha, even I wouldn't do something like that. Just how crazy of a girl am I in that head of yours? You're right, 
I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> I don't mind. Anyway, so, think you can make it? It just needs to blow up a rock. Yeah, it should be fine. I'll go make it. Alright, thanks. I'll be waiting. Deliver a bomb to destroy the rock. Oh, I already got it. Cool. That's convenient. Whoa, now this looks like a real bomb. Thanks, Sophie. You're welcome. Haha, <laughs> now I'll be able to get rid of that accursed rock. That reminds me. Why did you suddenly start thinking about blowing up a rock? Well, you know. My place has a lot of little kids running around and playing, right? Ah, you mean your little brothers? That's right. Anyway, that big rock is just getting in the way. Now that you mention it, it would be in the way. Yep, I tried digging it out before, but it's buried unexpectedly deep in the ground. And that's why I ask you to make me a bomb, Dr. Sophie. Hmm, I see, but you should be really careful with that bomb. Huh? It's made to be thrown at monsters. It has a lot of power. How much power are we talking about? Let's see. If you used it here, it would probably blow away the entire shop. It's that strong? I see. I didn't know. Well, I know I should be careful with it now. I'll use plenty of caution. Yeah, please do so. Hello, Mr. Horst. Welcome, Sophie. Whoa, I'm feeling kind of dizzy. You should stop now. You're going to pass out. What are you saying? We've only just started drinking. The real contest starts now. This guy's hopeless. He forgot that we've been drinking for hours now. Hey, Meister. Yes? Do you need anything? Ah, uh, please wait just a minute, Sophie. We're going to be leaving. Can you ring us up? Yes. Thank you very much. Who said you can decide that? Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's go outside. Come on. Sorry for the wait, Sophie. I'm kind of jealous. Oh, now this is sudden. About what exactly? alcohol didn't we have a similar conversation before maybe we did are you really that interested in drinking I'm a little curious why because adults are always drinking until they're all dizzy and drunk aren't they drinking that much because it tastes really good not all people drink because they enjoy the flavor in fact, I don't know anybody who's ever drank because they enjoy the flavor. What do you mean? There's always that one jerk who's like, I don't take chase because I'm a real man. Yeah. <laughs> You'll understand when you're older. Arg, that line again. Hehe, <laughs> alcohol is the flavor of life. Hmm, now that's kind of hard to understand. The flavor of life, it tastes like shit. Well, that sounds like me. They're drinking that much because life is awful, lol. Is it? <laughs> hmm. Now that's kind of hard to understand. Well, which request? Thank you. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for coming. Welcome. Where the hell is Cory? Oh, she's way up there randomly. Okay. Hmm. 
Not in here. Is she in Fritz's house? And I just missed her? No. What the fuck, man? Oh, okay. Man, I haven't drank in so long. Last time I got drunk was at a fucking Bad Religion concert, like, two years ago? Two? Oh, Corey, you're listening to the music box again. Yes, it's become like a daily routine for me now. Huh, I see. It really is a nice tune, though. Yes. Hey, what are you two doing here? Ah, hello, Lodgy. We were listening to Corey's music box. I see. So that box was a music box. This is a pretty nostalgic tune. I wonder how many years it's been since I heard it last. What? Lodgy, you know this tune? Hmm? Yeah, it's not exactly the same, but I heard it when I traveled for training. Really? Lodgy, can you please tell us more? We might figure something out about Cory's dad. I'd like to ask as well. I heard this song in a country far to the east of here. That reminds me, there were lots of people over there who wore clothes like yours. And? What else? Do you know anything else? Let's see. Also... Hmm, that's about it. Lodgy, thank you so much. You really helped. Thank you very much. No problem. I'm glad I could help. Anyway, I'll get going now. That's great, Cory. We got to hear all kinds of things. Yes, he really did have a lot to tell us. So my people are in a country to the east. My dad could be in the east, too. Um, Cory... Are you thinking about going to look for him? I don't know. Not right now, at least. I see. He would get kind of lonely around here if Cory left this town. But it would be to find her dad. I would need to support her decision if she does. Oh my fucking Lanta. What am I going to do now? Bring the Ares brooch to Leon. Leon. Oh, okay, it's her. The chick. I was thinking, I'm like, which dude is Leon again? That's what they call this fucking... The fly honey selling her wares on the street here. Leon! Ah, Sophie, you seem like you're in a good mood. <laughs> I actually have a present for you. Ta-da! Is this a brooch? Did you make this? Yeah, I worked really hard to make it. I see. So this is for me. <laughs> I'm really happy. All the expensive jewelry I've had until now doesn't even compare. That's an exaggeration. It's not really that expensive at all. No, having the highest price doesn't always mean something's the most valuable. The price doesn't matter. I'm sure this brooch will be something I treasure all my life. Thank you, Sophie. I'm glad you like it so much. You didn't seem very happy lately, after all. It's true that I felt a little depressed, but that was solved thanks to you, too. Huh? What do you mean? I told you just now, the highest priced item isn't always the most valuable. The brooch you gave me helped me realize that. I'm sorry, I still don't follow. I'm saying that my dream wasn't actually to become the top clothier in my country. What? Really? Yeah, I had forgotten about this for a long time, but my real dream was to create clothes that make people smile. Clothes? 
that make people smile. Yep, you two were really happy when you wore the clothes I made, right? That's the kind of stuff I wanted to create. It's more important to me to see people smile, not getting top awards at some contest. I see. So that's how you felt. I've been chasing a different dream up until now. No wonder I wasn't satisfied when I reached it. Ah, uh, I feel like an idiot for being so worried about it, but I also feel really relieved. Hehehe, <laughs> that's good. You're much cooler when you're happy and confident, though. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, now that I've realized that, I can't just sit around forever. I'll keep working at it, so feel free to come to my shop anytime. Okay, I got it. Play on, learn the skill. Likes cute things. Go defeat the Dragonair. What the hell is that? Can be taken from Dragonair and the Scar of the Land. There's two important things that I need to do with the Scar of the Land, and I didn't even realize. I didn't realize that there was like a subsection to the events page. Okay, now I know what to do. Scar of the Land it is. Where are we going? Wow, 10 cents. You guys like C-sections? Yeah, it's a really <laughs> amazing place. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Sophie, I'd like to ask you something. What kind of power do you believe alchemy to be? The devil's work. Hmm. Well, I think it's like a power from a dream, maybe? I was able to meet you thanks to alchemy. And I'm able to go places with you thanks to it, too. We couldn't have come here like this if it wasn't for alchemy. Don't you think it's the stuff of dreams? Yes, as you said, I believe alchemy is a wonderful power with near limitless potential. However, at the same time, alchemy has another much different side to it. Sophie, do you have any idea how the scar of the land was created? Al-Qaeda? No, not at all. To tell the truth, the scar of the land was cut into the earth by alchemy. What? A huge chasm like this? The possibilities of alchemy are countless. Enough to make it seem like something from dreams. However, it also has the power to cause great calamities. Misuse of alchemy can turn that grand dreamlike power into nightmares. Nightmares which can then turn on us. The form alchemy takes depends on the thoughts and desires of the alchemist using it. I want you to remember this. I get what you're saying, Pakta. But it's okay. I would never use alchemy for bad things. Later that day. Sophie, alchemy is such an amazing power. I think it would be much better to use that power to help people, not do bad things with it. <laughs> I see. It seems I didn't need to talk to you about this, Sophie. That's right. Did you really think I'd do bad things with alchemy? <laughs> You're right. I was mistaken. Anyway, we should return to the Atlier. Atlier? Listen to that horrifying music. Oh. Well. There it is. That's the monster in question. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. It's really big. 
Are you prepared? Then let's go. Yeah, yes. Okay. The hell it almost died in one hit or one turn I mean what the fuck man holy shit that much experience ha ha we did it we won well fought Sophie are you injured Oh, no. I'm okay. That's good. Now, then. This should do it. Here you are, Sophie. These are the eternity scales you desired. To slay a one-of-a-kind beast to use its fucking scale? Really? Wow. Arigato gozaimasu. There's no need for thanks. I'm just happy to have been of use to you. Now that we're done here, we shouldn't linger for too long. Let's return. Important event, synthesize the key of truth added. Dream recipe, the mind's eye monocle can be synthesized. I want dragon blunts, bloodstones can be reported. Blunt Man Chronicles. Already? Oh man, Gold Eisen again. Fuck yeah. And a Dragon Bloodstone. Alright, you know what? Fuck this. I'm getting out of here. I'm not going to risk losing any of these items. Sophie, Plakta, are you here? Wow, that was surprising. What is it, Leon? Do you two want to go to the Prospector Strand sometime for a vacation? The Prospector Strand? I don't really mind. I'm glad you understand. But Leon, what kind of vacation are you talking about? To put it simply, we're going swimming. There's a perfect little beach there. Wow, swimming. That sounds fun. We'd love to go. Right, Plakta? I'll pass. I don't enjoy the water that much. Wait, really? You never told me. Well, you see, 
I was a book for a long time, so I always feel this sense of reluctance around water. You'll be fine. You aren't a book anymore, so it's fine if you get wet. And I want to go have fun with you. Isn't it okay? We? Oui. We? Oui. I understand. If you insist, I'll go with you. Sounds like it's all decided. I'll leave the timing for when we go up to you. Okay, I got it. Then I'll see you later, Sophie. A vacation with Leon, huh? Sounds fun. Event Leon go take a vacation added. I'm just supposed to go there. All right, where to? Wow, it's amazing. It's so pretty. Ah ha 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 ha. Just loses her fucking marbles. Sophie, it's dangerous to run around carelessly. Now then, this spot should be good. How about we get dressed for our vacation? Ha ha ha. Recreation at the lake trophy. Have a good time with Leon at the lake. This is fun. You should come over here too, Plakta. Ha <laughs> ha, she's calling for you. Are you sure you shouldn't go? Yes, Sophie's stamina is always endless during times like this. I just get tired trying to keep up with her. Also, I'm still reluctant to get wet. Take that. Ah, so stop that, Sophie. Don't splash water onto me. Haha, -ha, no way. I won't stop until you come over here. Sophie, I'll get mad if you don't behave yourself. Hey, Sophie. You two really get along. Ah, uh, that was fun, Leon. Thank you so much for inviting us. Ooh, my clothes are all wet. I feel so uncomfortable. Oh, fuck, a voice ban.
Fuck. This is a three minute voice ban, right? Or was it five? Five minutes, I can't remember. Nobody ever uses the fucking thing. Three? Oh, okay. How you doing today, dude? Ugh. Sophie, welcome. Huh? You're running your store like usual. Hmm. Am I not allowed to do that? No, I just figured you would go on a journey to find your dad. Ah, that. I thought about it, but I'm not going to go on a journey. Really? Why not? I know about my people's homeland now, but there's no guarantee that my dad is there. It would be better to make my store bigger and get more famous. And wait for my dad to come to me. Haha, <laughs> I see. Yes, also, I would be a little sad leaving you, Sophie. Cory, yeah, I don't want to be separated from you either. I don't need to travel. Someday. Someday I'm sure that the sound of the music box you helped me fix will lead my dad to this store. Until then, I'll keep doing my best here. Yeah, you should work hard and aim to make your store the biggest one in Kirkenbell. Yes, so, please, buy even more things at my store from now on. Ah ha ha, you're always trying to make a sale. I got it. I'll keep buying more things here. Oh, but Cory, don't work too hard and end up shrinking so much that you disappear, okay? I'll try not to. Good. Now maybe I'll take a look at what you have to sell. Corneria learned the skill element absorb. I'm okay, rolled out of bed. Time for day off. Oh, we're gonna stream today at some point. Oh, you're gonna finally fucking stream, eh? Are you gonna play more of this or what, dude? Oh, what the piss? I have something to tell you today, Sophie. Hmm? What is it? Starting next time, I'll be refilling your items for free. What? No, you don't have to do that. That would be too much. No, it's okay. You're always helping me. I'm making a special exception just for you. I see. Okay, I'll take you up on that offer then. Yes, please just leave it to me. Automatically refilling Sophie's equipped items is now free. That's the only one? No idea, lol. Might be time for you to pass Sophie to me. You ha your time with her. Um, dude, I fuck it, man. I have to be close to the end of this game by now. There's no way in hell I'm not close to the end of this.
It's my turn to use the blow up doll. Oh yeah, gold steel web. And star powder. Failure ash. Nectar of life. Oh, I can make this, I guess. All right, fuck it. It's like pouring rain here right now. I can make the key of truth. raining apparently it sprinkled here a few days ago but i missed it yeah man fucking gorgeous here right now i love the rain the fog's like hiding the tips of the mountains and shit too looks really cool A winner is you. I bet it doesn't look as cool as that Sonic print behind you. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Have any of you guys ever, like, seen British Columbia? Anytime people travel here, they just go on and on about how beautiful it is and how lucky I am to have this view. But I've lived here my entire life, so I don't... I don't really understand it. Did I? Sophie, I may have just committed a terrible mistake. Huh? What do you mean? I have a bad feeling. We should hurry to the gates of wisdom as quickly as possible. Go to the gates of wisdom. Something tells me I should save. I wonder if I'm at the end of the game. Sag? That's not a word. Where are we going? the hell are you talking about, game? What? Let's hurry to the gates of wisdom deep in the enlightened mountain. Okay. Where are we going? Hmm. Sag. What exactly is that? Twins? Wait, really? Yes. Its device was such enormous power. It would only be natural for there to be many people seeking it. Well, now that you mention it, that makes sense. However, among them, there are two who especially mustn't be allowed to obtain it. Mechlin and Atomina. They must not have the cauldron. Nude it. Plocta's been snorting that good shit to have her pupils like that. It's true that they mentioned the cauldron of knowledge before, but why not? Those two likely seek to use the cauldron to return to their previous form. Their previous form. A Bulbasaur. The form of an alchemist from my time. What do you mean? Five hundred years ago, I fought a certain alchemist. Dragomir, I don't know if you want to fucking hear this, dude. You're going through this game, right? This is kind of like spoiling the story for you. His name at the time was Luard, the true form of Mechlet and Atomina. Luard? What a dumb name. I'm going home. During the battle 500 years ago, 
I fought Luar and emerged victorious. Hear that, boob? What the fuck kind of name is Luard? Eh? What the fuck? Then I split and sealed his soul away in two bodies. Artificial life forms called Mechlin and Atomina. You talked about artificial life forms before. They're the ones that are human, yet not human, right? Human. Yes, they possess eternal life. As objects resembling humans, that's their true identity. So why do they want the cauldron of knowledge? I'm managing to tune it out. I completely zoned out and just heard mumbling. Their bodies created through alchemy. I wish I could have a stroke. Alchemy themselves. That's why it's impossible for them to use alchemy to return to their former self. However, tell me, what would happen if they had the cauldron of knowledge? Uh. If the cauldron of knowledge lets anyone use alchemy, even they would be able to use it? Exactly. Using the cauldron, they could return to their true form. That is their desire. This isn't even my final form. Normally, <sighs> since they cannot create the key of truth, coming here would be impossible for them. Oh, I see. It's because I made the key of truth. No, this isn't your fault. If only I had remembered this sooner. What the? If those to obtain the cauldron of knowledge, it would become a grave situation. We need to hurry. Please do be hurrying the fuck up now. Event important events hurry into the gates of wisdom added. Please do be shaving my back now. Gates of wisdom. Hey, you're late. Hey, your mom sucks cocks in hell. Can I join? The Cauldron of Knowledge Trophy. So Mechlid and Atom, and I take the Cauldron of Knowledge before others at Gates of Wisdom. Mechlid, Atomina. Where's me chiclet factory? Damn it! We didn't make it in time. From that tomb, it sounds like you finally remember who we are. And you have completely forgotten. What am I to me? Will eventually be a memory. You expected this, so you put your soul in that. You forgot all the important details. How laughable. Dang, that's laughable. You should see my crotch. Although, it was a little beyond our predictions that you would forget about the key of truth, too. I guess that's another thing to add to the list that we need to thank Sophie for. I'm on a list. Not only did you bring back Fox's memories, but you made the key for us, too. Yeah. It's all thanks to you, Sophie, that we were able to reach the Cauldron of Knowledge. Sophie, you're a really nice person. Unlike a certain someone there. She got a sewing needle stuck in her temple. <laughs> what a babe. Yeah, seriously. She went so far as to turn us into these... things. We couldn't use alchemy. And we couldn't go back to normal. We couldn't even age and die. Trust me, lady. Aging sucks. Living in these bodies for the last 500 years was torture. But our pain finally ends today. That's because... Our, our wish, wish will finally be fulfilled. Golf wang. I fucking hate it when people turn into beams of light. It happens everywhere I go. Looks like the cauldron from Dark Cloud. Right boob. Left boob. Center boob. Yeah, turn into fucking Midna. It has been quite some time since I met you in this form, Lockdown. Your name's Luard. Enough said. 
Does this game have titties or nah? <laughs> Everything has titties if you fucking think. Whoa. Really hard about it. Your form has changed quite a bit since then. Now that I am my former self, it seems our positions have been reversed. That doesn't matter. If it's been reversed, I just have to turn you back. <sighs> Your demeanor certainly hasn't changed. However, I could care less. I simply wish to pursue alchemy as I see fit. Ow. I know our reunion was short, but farewell. So long, Midna. Stop, Luard! Adios, you dweef machine. Opta. Let's return to the Atmere, Sophie. I'll tell you everything there. Okay. Game has the worst names. I only like Sophie. Sophie's a dog's name. I don't think I've ever met somebody named Sophie in my life. Only dogs. Little tiny annoying yappy dogs. But does it blend? Cassius, did you join ISIS too? LOL. Hey. We're taking applications. known Boris and Judy as dog names until I learned about the British Prime Minister some years ago and met my recent co-worker named Judy. Yeah, I've met Judy's before. Like, two. Two of them. I've never met a Boris, though. Homeless shelter, lady. Okay. I'm going to tell you about the past, about myself, and Luard. She's gonna take you back to the past. Luard was an exceedingly skilled alchemist. He was also a fellow researcher of alchemy alongside me. Yeah, but his name's Luard. He wasn't originally the way you just saw him. However, at one point, he began walking the wrong path. 
Luard was taken in by the power of alchemy. Oh. His research became more and more self-righteous and selfish. I tried to convince him to stop, but he wouldn't listen to me. In fact, he began to immerse himself in his alchemy research even further. If allowed to continue, his research could have affected the entire world. That's why I fought to stop him. I killed him with my own hands and split his soul into two artificial life forms. However, there was one thing that concerned me. The cauldron of knowledge. Artificial life forms can't use alchemy, but the cauldron is an exception. As long as the cauldron existed, there was a possibility of Luard returning to his former self. That's why I sealed my own soul in that book. I could change hands between alchemists, gaining new knowledge to prepare for the future. However, over the long years, my memories were lost. And you know the rest of the story, Sophie. Something like that happened? Yes, allowing Luard to resurrect himself was my failure. If Luard is allowed to go free, he will likely resume his alchemy research. And if he continues, something terrible could happen once again. That must be prevented at all costs. In order to do that, we need to figure out where Luard fled to. Where would he have gone? I have no idea. Actually, I suppose it would be more correct to say that I can't remember. Gonna drop off Oscar. His hot mom is moving in with me. Doesn't want him anymore. Dreams come true. Dreams come true. On a plus side, you can staple a photo of Oscar to the back of her head for nighttime. It's likely that I already know where he would have gone. But I can't remember where. I see. Oh, maybe? Maybe if we keep bringing back your memories like before, you'll remember where he would go? Yes, that seems very possible. However, we don't have much time to go about it leisurely. I'll do what I can to investigate where Luard went. You continue improving your alchemy skills, Sophie. That will likely be the quickest way of finding where he went. Okay, I understand. Leave that to me, Plakta. Yeah, Plakta, stay out of Riverdale. LOL. Okay, now what the hell? Study lots of alchemy? That's it? Okay. What should I make? Okay. What material should I use? Guess I'll just talk to everybody. On something trigger, damn it. Back off, shrew.
Oh, Sophie. Hello, Fritz. Are you thinking about something? Yeah, I was thinking about going to the next town. What? You're gonna leave this town already? Don't jump so far ahead. I'm talking about the future, but I can't stay here forever. Ah, I see. That's a relief, but why are you thinking about it now? I am actually thinking about searching for my daughter. Oh really, but you said before that you didn't need to do that. Thanks to you, I was able to create a magnificent doll. I wanted to show it off to her. Haha. <laughs> oh, I get it. I understand now. But you're going to be leaving someday. I'll feel a little sad. Haha, -ha. meetings and farewells are all a part of life. There's nothing to be sad about. Also, I promised you that I would show you the greatest puppet show in the world. We'll meet again. Fritz. Yeah, that's right. I need to make a lot of preparations to set out. Until then, I intend to continue putting on puppet shows here. I'll be working with you for a while longer. Yes, I look forward to it. Fritz learned the skill Master Swordsman. Stupid pain. What are you? Oh, Lo Lo Logi is looking for materials to inspire him and come up with ideas for his dream weapons. He needs things that aren't seen very much nowadays. I'll search around and bring some forgotten materials to Logi. I don't know. No Habla existence. What do you want, you fuck? Welcome. What weapon do you want to make? I'll see I don't want nothing. You're a hooker. Every clock shows the same time. Without any deviation, it's as though they refuse to fall out of order at all. I'm learning. Mystery recipes. Time control hourglass can be synthesized. Oh, okali dokali there, eh? Problem, toots. What were you talking about? Beyblade porn. Ah, Sophie. Hey, I was just giving her some advice about clothes. I bet you were. What? You were Oscar? Why are you so surprised? Because I didn't know you had interest in clothes. <laughs> you were giving lay on advice? Could it be the reverse? What? I could give some advice too. It's not about color or fashion anyway. Wait, then what was it about? Oscar is lasering her under boob. <laughs> There's a cool sentence. He's kind of plump, right? I figured he would want different clothes than people with more average builds, and so I asked him for his opinion. Oh, so that's what it was. I don't want to look like a freak. Just give me a moo moo. He was really helpful. I think I can still make some improvements for comfort when it comes to clothes like this. You can come to my store anytime if you have more questions. My mom's always there. Oh, does that mean your mother made the clothes you're wearing? Yeah, that's right. Mrs. Marguerite is really skilled. 
She's good at cooking, too. I really admire her. I see. And maybe I'll go talk to her sometime. You're always welcome. Even more welcome if you buy some vegetables while you're there. Buy my vegetables! <laughs> There's the real motivation. <laughs> maybe I'll do that. He's kind of a fat fucking porcus, right? Oh man, I'd let him sit on my face. Which request? Huh? Nectar of life. What the hell am I doing? Study lots of alchemy, that's it? What does that even mean? Star powder. Fuck. Failure ash. What material should I use? Is the witch cauldron is okay then? Let's start. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is going great. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Dilf. Plakta, can you come shopping with me at Miss Marguerite's store? Period. 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 Dude, you're giving me fucking war flashbacks. Sophie. Hey, Plakta. Huh? Oh, Sophie. What do you need? I said let's go to Miss Marguerite's store to buy vegetables. Ah, I understand. You're acting weird. Go to Margaret's store? Does it seem like there's less water flowing lately? Now that you mention it, yes. I know, right? It's such a bother. 
Huh? It would be a big problem if the water stopped flowing, right, Plokta? Plokta? Oh, yes. That's right. What the hell? Allah Akbar. Words to live by. Hey, did you hear? Some really dangerous monsters appeared near town. Really? There's too many of them lately. Luckily, no one's been hurt yet, but we might need to start planning for the worst. Yeah, seriously, what's going on lately? Dangerous monsters near the town. Ooh, that's kind of scary. So, Sophie, did you find any information about the Eternal Blossom? I'm sorry, I couldn't find anything. Ahsoka. Perhaps you could find it in the Forest of Fairies? Huh? I remember that there's a place called the Forest of Fairies to the far north. Now that you mention it... It was inhabited by monsters, so most of the natural environment was left untouched. It's possible that it still remains that way now. That could mean the Eternal Blossom could grow there. I can't just sit around, Sophie. Let's try going to the Forest of Fairies. Huh? But monsters live there. It's fine. I'll do something about it. And I'm sure the Eternal Blossom could be used as an alchemy material. Yes, I recall that it's an excellent ingredient for medicine. Boob! You got it! See? Come on. Let's try going. Sigh. Fine. Alright, thanks. I wonder if we'll be okay. Oscar, search for the Eternal Blossom 1. Miss Marguerite, hello. We're here to shop. Ah, Sophie. I'm sorry you came all this way, but I don't have much for sale today. Oh, now that you mention it, did something happen? <laughs> it seems like we can't harvest many crops lately. I've only been able to stock a little bit because of that. I see. That's a problem. Ha ha ha. It's nothing for you to worry about. Anyway, I might only have a little, but take a look. Important events go by Vegetables 2 added. Return of the Atelier. Fuck that, I'm going to the Forest of Fairies. Got a destination. More hash brown sugar. This is the Forest of Fairies. The Eternal Blossom should be here somewhere. But how would we find it? Huh? The Eternal Blossom can't bloom if it's exposed to sunlight, right? Do you even know what it looks like when it blooms? Uh... What? You don't even know. I can't help that. The book only showed it in its closed state. All right, Plokta, do you know anything? I'm sorry, I never gathered it myself, and I've only seen it when the butt is closed. No way. Hey, Eternal Blossom, could you answer me? There's no way a plant can answer your call. Wait. What is it? I can hear a voice. A voice? I'm sure this is the Eternal Blossom's voice. Let's go. Hey, wait, Oscar. 
We can't help it. We should follow him. Yeah, yeah. Oscar search for the Eternal Blossom 2 added. I think I heard the voice from around here. But I don't see anything in particular. It's dangerous to stay here for too long. We should go back. Hey, Eternal Blossom. Are you even listening? Ah. You're the one who is calling to me. You're... Stop. Plocta? That plant isn't the Eternal Blossom. It's a different, poisonous plant. No way. This has got to be the Eternal Blossom. You said you've never seen the Eternal Blossom yourself. How would you know? I've never seen the Eternal Blossom before, but I have seen that plant. It has a terrible poison. Even a prick from its thorns will make you suffer from a high fever for three entire days. But this plant said it's the Eternal Blossom. In that case, the plant is lying. No way. Humans lie all the time. Why would you assume that plants are incapable of lying? We should go back for now. Come on. Alright. Oscar. Auto mod check thong. I think I turned off the auto mod, dude. still on mine? Automod check. Little girl. It's still on. What are you talking about? I turned it all off. Time to do my job. Like Didn't I? <laughs> Just write as much horrible shit as you can come up with. Belly button. We did it. All right, where to? God damn it, I gotta blow my nose again. What the frick? Besides those words, there's nothing else for it to block. Thong, little girl, and belly button? Are you fucking with me? Okay, I gotta blow my nose. I'll be right back.
What the frick? Besides those words, there's nothing else for it to block. Yes. I went through the settings a few days ago after somebody's like... Do you like this 500-year-old book that looks like an adolescent female and shows belly button and stringy undergarment? Okay, that works. Oh, are you fucking high? Boob. What is it, boof? No, don't smack that. It's so loud, buddy. It's very loud. My little man. What are you doing? My fleshlight's got too much energy. Ablation alchemy. From regular alchemy? Yes, as I explained before, the alchemy you and I use listens to the wishes of materials and helps fulfill them. On the other hand, ablation alchemy ignores the wishes of materials, forcing them to morph into another form. It ignores the wishes of materials to make things. Doesn't that mean you could create anything you wanted? Isn't that actually a good thing? It would be really convenient. You aren't mistaken that it's convenient. However, that convenience comes at an equivalent price. A price? Yes. Alchemy that ignores the wishes of materials costs far more than normal alchemy. The cost in this case is the power of nature. Normally, the power of nature that we use slowly recovers. However, Ablation alchemy uses that power at a faster rate than it can recover, wasting enormous amounts of it. Fuck As that. As a result, it eats away at nature little by little. Eventually, the power of nature would be exhausted. Exhausted. I can't even imagine what would occur if that was to happen. The scar of the land was carved into the earth by the influence of ablation alchemy. The scar of the land? I didn't know. Yes, the changes you see recently are likely related to the power of nature slowly being consumed. It seems we really can't allow Luar to continue his ablation alchemy much longer. If used carefully, it would probably be somewhat sustainable. But Luar makes no such effort. We need to figure out where Luar went as quickly as possible and stop him. We already know that. Yeah. I'll keep working to improve my alchemy. For your memories, too! Yes, please do so. That's it. Study lots of alchemy. That's so fucking vague. That's all I had to do was make one thing. Sophie, do you have a minute? Ah, Monica, what's wrong? Um, it's about Oscar. What about Oscar? You know how he went to the Forest of Fairies before? 
It seems like he's been really pushing himself since then. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if there's anything we can do for him. I was thinking about going and talking to him now. Could you come with me, Sophie and Plakta? Okay, I got it. Understood. Thank you. Then let's go. Oscar, go console Oscar. Console. Where the hell is he? Welcome. Why the fuck are you here? Um, we were wondering how you were doing. We're concerned about you after the Eternal Blossom incident the other day. Hey, Plaka, you could put it a little more gently. Oh, that. Oscar? I was really shocked when I was told that plants lie. All I wanted was to know more about plants. I wanted to get to know them and be friends. But that was just my one-sided desire. Oscar. What are you talking about? That's normal. What? Monica? Monica? People are the same way, you know. Just because people can talk to each other doesn't mean everyone gets along all the time. Hey, boo-boo. Sometimes we fight or lie, but that isn't a reason to hate every single person. That's... There's nothing to worry about. You want to be friends with those plants, right? You want to see the Eternal Blossom, too? What are you so worried about? You already know what you want to do. First, you need to talk to them. Then you need to find out why that plant lied to you. Maybe you'll understand something when you do. Monica. Yeah, you're right. I was feeling too depressed about this. Thanks, Monica. I feel better now. That's good. That gloomy look wasn't very fitting of you, Oscar. Heh <laughs> On a related note, I have something to ask you all. You want to go to the Forest of Fairies again, right? We already know. Thanks. Will you go to the prom with me? How? Oh. Where, Where are we going next? The only place to go. What question? Fuck everything. Please do be giving me back my swagger now. I'm ineffective. Dear God, make me a burger. How in the hell is that thing still alive? Fucking Dilf. Oh no you don't. It was around here. Yeah, I'll go talk to them.
Hey, it's been a while. I wanted to ask you about the other day. Why did you lie to us before? If you have a reason for that, can you tell me? Will he be okay alone? I think Oscar's the only one who can talk to them. That reminds me. It sounds like he really did believe that Oscar can talk to plants. Huh? Well, to be honest, I was really doubtful, but I'm sure it's true to Oscar, at least. Ha ha ha, you really are a nice person. Am I? Hmm hmm. What did you say? I didn't know. I got it. Thank you for telling me. How'd it go? They told me all kinds of things. Apparently, they're the guardians of the forest. The guardians? Yeah, there's lots of rare and valuable plants living deep inside this forest. Among them, there are some plants that only live here now. To protect them, only those deemed worthy are allowed to go to the deeper part. Really? In other words, any humans who try to harvest everything here at the entrance aren't trustworthy and are poisoned. Yeah, they said that it's okay for us to go to the deeper part of the forest, if we only gather in moderation. Alright then, let's go. Yeah, also, one more thing. There's several poisonous plants in this forest too. The poison dust they release is spread around quite a bit. We need to walk slowly and softly, otherwise we'll kick up the dust and breathe it. Wow, really? Then we need to be careful. Where the hell? Chewith! <coughs> I don't think we can go any further. We never saw any plants that seemed like it could be the Eternal Blossom. I wonder if they really are extinct. It would seem not. Look over there. Wait. Could that be? Yes, there's no mistake. That is the Eternal Blossom. So that's it. We should go gather it. No, we shouldn't. I'd be poisoned because I'm lazy. <laughs> Me too. So is it extremely hot there today again, or what? You poor bastard. Huh? Why not? I thought we were looking for that. It's true that the Eternal Blossom can be used to make good medicine, but I can hear its voice. They want to stay in this forest. They want to help the creatures here that rely on them. Oscar. I just want you to look at the Eternal Blossom and nothing else. Sorry, Sophie. I know you came all the way here. No, it's okay. We can't help that. We'll just look, like you said. Yeah, I'll go see if we can be friends. Watch out. Oh my god, a used tampon appeared. He's got the same shitty hair color as me. A monster. The Eternal Blossom. If a big monster like that steps on it, it'll be totally crushed. Almost 90. 32.2. Yeah, that's fucking hot as hell. Fuck that. Anything after 30 sucks ass. Hey, get away from the Eternal Blossom. Damn it. Then we'll just have to force you. This is an easy fight. Yeah, you ready for foreskin, little man? I'm great at shit talking. Be right back. Death Claw. 
full of openings. Hope this hits. Here's a bonus. Yeah, this thing's not posing a challenge at all. Yep, it's gonna die this turn too. Take that, you diaper rash. Ta-da! We did it. We won. All right, the Eternal Blossom seems fine. Just take a look. Wow, it's a really pretty flower, seeing it up close. Yeah, I'm really moved. So there were flowers like this, too. If I had just lived an ordinary life, I would have never known. It can't bloom in bright places, after all. Hey, Monica, you should come closer and look. Ooh. What's wrong, Monica? I don't know. I just feel really lightheaded and dizzy all of a sudden. It sounds like Monica's been poisoned. She may have inhaled too much poison dust. <laughs> no way. And why only Monica? I'm not certain. But it may have been when that monster first appeared. Lots of dust got kicked up by it. I'm sure there were lots of poison dust, too. It seems the effect of the poison is delayed, so we couldn't tell until now. Is everyone else okay? I think I'm fine. I don't see any particular issues, so it seems to only be Monica. Monica, what should we do? The Eternal Blossom. Huh? The Eternal Blossom is saying to leave it up to them. They want to help her. The Eternal Blossom could be used to make medicine to cure her, but we can't synthesize it without a cauldron. That's fine, I'll brew it myself. I can't use alchemy, but I know how to prepare medicinal herbs. I understand. Then we should move Monica to a safer place first. Yeah. The Wild Guy Oscar trophy. See Oscar carrying Monica in his arms to nurse her. He's gonna breastfeed her back to fucking health. Monica, are you feeling alright? Hey, put me down, Oscar. Just be quiet, Monica. If you move around too much, the poison will spread faster. There's no need to carry me. You're better off relaxing. That's true, but... Just wait, I'll make that medicine for you in no time. You'll be fine. Just believe in us. Us? Yeah, me, Sophie, Plakta, and of course the Eternal Blossom and the plants around here. Fub! What are you doing? Monica, how are you feeling? I feel much better now. Thank you, Oscar. I'll be fine. I see. Sounds like you'll be alright. I'm relieved. We should go home after resting a little. No, we should gather a few eternal blossoms before we do. Huh? But you said we shouldn't before. The eternal blossoms said they wanted to help even more people. It's all thanks for us saving them earlier. I see. Thank you, eternal blossom. All right, then. Let's do a little more work. Hello, well, he's going to slurp that poison out of her. Yeah. Suck it out of granny slit, eh? 
You ever watch Spoilsbury Toast Boy by David Firth? He's gonna take you back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. Right, boob? You pesky dilf. What the Don't hell is this? We'll get through this. I've seen Salad Fingers, though. Yeah, Salad Fingers is... Yeah, that's not bad. It's good. A lot of his other shit is way more dark and fucked up. Mucho Darko. Spoilsbury Toast Boy is pretty fucked up. And Dog of Man's really fucked up. A black and white cartoon about roof tiling is really fucked up. Man, that guy's brain is fucking crantastic. the hell that's pretty strange to hear I'll check it out at some point it's strange to hear that it's fucked up it's just dark and bleak and morbid and somber he has a certain atmosphere to him that I haven't seen replicated oh he's healing himself what an asshole Oh no. This guy's gonna fucking kill me. Holy shit, dude. Cassius. Man, I forgot to out deodorant on after my shower. Now my armpits smell like tacos and I like it. That's fantastic. Now that I go out of my way to see morbid things, anyway. Not that I go out. Oh, okay. I wish I smelled like tacos. Seem like you're in a bad mood. Oh, really? How so? You really are in a bad mood. I'm sorry. It seems to be affecting my attitude. Attitude. What's wrong? It's unusual to see you in such a bad mood, Plakta. It's about where your ward went. No matter how much I investigated, I can find no clues. You're also working very hard at your alchemy, but it's frustrating that I still can't remember. Hey, Plakta? Why is Luard using Ablation Alchemy anyway? Luard's been enthralled by the power of Ablation Alchemy. In the past, because he likes it. He very normal alchemy research for a certain goal. But at one point, he discovered ablation alchemy. And blinded by its immense power, he forgot his original goals. It's likely that Luar can only think about researching ablation alchemy now. I see. Wish I could see. Put. So I should come over with a bag of chips then? To dip them in your armpit sweat. It's true that ablation alchemy holds great power. If the cost problems associated with it could be resolved, it could even be the ideal form of alchemy. I feel like the Japanese are obsessed with alchemy. Yeah, no doubt, dude. I hear the word alchemy fucking frequently in these games. However, in reality, the costs are far too great. Ward simply ignores that fact. He completely disregards the future risks. We cannot allow Luar to continue his reckless use of ablation alchemy. And amnesia. I need to stop Luar. It's also quite Whatever prevalent. It takes. I was wondering before, but Plata seems to look really sad whenever she talks about Luar. It's because it's a dumb name and she has to say it over and over. I wonder why. All right. Okay, guys, it's been a hundred years. I'm going to fucking... Have some lunch and go on a walk.
I need to stretch out. Come on down, LOL. Yup. And thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. You guys made this a lot more exciting than it otherwise would have been, for sure. Something tells me my next playthrough of this is going to be the final one tomorrow. For this game. I saved twice because I'm a paranoid fuck. Amnesia is just for a lazy plot design, in my opinion. Oh, boy. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day, guys.